Happy Tuesday and welcome to the weekly vlog. Today I am heading into London. I was filming all day yesterday, so I didn't I didn't end up filming, although it would have just been me sat here saying, so today I'm filming. Today I'm heading into London. I have a meeting this afternoon and then I have an event tonight. The event is with Soap and Glory, hence why I am planning my outfits. And it is pink. I love going to events with Soap and Glory. They always throw the best kind of events. And like we had a day before we did like this bake off. It was so fun so yeah that is what's on this evening and then well i guess we'll find out what happens next i just need to pack actually uh, that would help a lot and i've arrived in london it is a bit earlier than i wanted to be here but i couldn't get to the station at any other time so I'm here, I managed to get a lift, which I'm very happy about. I am gonna run along to Harrods because I need to go and try some dresses on for an event that I'm going to this weekend. So that's exciting, like I'm so actually so excited for that. I love getting the opportunity to dress up and this is like not a work thing, it's like a personal thing. So I can actually spend some time getting ready, enjoy it, not have a schedule and like, I'm actually really excited. So yeah, I've just got in, I've just been tidying up a little bit because it was, I always seem to leave in a rush. What was I doing last time I was here? I think I was running off to the airport last time I was here. Yes, Ibiza. So, <laughs> you know how it is. But the weather is pretty sad today, which I'm kind of struggling with. I'm just trying to like, just not think about it. I need to change actually. I've got this on with like a bralette. I'll show you in the mirror. I really like this outfit. So it's just this top from Shein. I've got my Gilly Hicks bralette on and then I've just got it on with some jeans, Jamie jeans and then my trainers. But it's too cold and this top's full of like holes. So it's like too cold. So I need to go put a different top on. But my bottom half's all right. But yeah, let's run along to Harrods. So this is my final outfit. I wanted to wear something that I could like wear to my meeting. Wow, this needs pulling down. Where's my meeting and like wear and be comfy. So I've got my Zara jacket on, this top from H&M, Jamie jeans, my Gucci trainers, and then my Alma BB. Not the most professional outfit in the world. Uh, however, who I'm meeting with, uh, it's just like a super casual thing. So it's fine, it's appropriate, don't worry. Uh, I am gonna tidy my hair up though. So I'm just in Harris trying on dresses. They've got the dresses that I want in the sizes that I want, but it's not the right colour and I'm kind of gutted. Um, I haven't tried it on yet, she's bringing it over, but we'll see. So I tried on a ton, I think I found the dress I want. I'm gutted that the one that I wanted was the wrong colour. And like, I genuinely didn't read online that it's fuchsia. I don't really want to wear pink. But yeah, I think I've found the perfect dress. So I'm back from my meeting and I just got ready for my event tonight with Soap and Glory. I'm very excited about my outfit. I'm wearing this top from Zara, which I've never really had the opportunity to wear out. I've had it for about two, two years, year and a half. Never worn it, but this is like the perfect opportunity. Skirt is also Zara. Shoes are Aldo, my new favorite things. And my car is running late, so I'm attaching a tripod to you and we're going to see something that I have been excited about for weeks, but haven't had the chance to do. We're going to unbox my Dyson! I am so excited for this. So this is the Cyclone V10. So those of you who know me know that my <laughs> my house and like my where I live is like my, my pride and joy. I take so much kind of joy out of making it the best it can be. So this is going to be perfect for my flat. So I have this whole thing with like plug-in vacuums that they're so heavy. And so I have arthritis, so like when I'm at home, carrying a like a vacuum up the stairs is just a night that like, I can't do it. It's just, it takes so much strength. Doesn't it just sum me up? I'm sat here completely made up in a pink outfit ready to go out and I'm unboxing my Dyson. <laughs> that, if you know me, that is just, like my parents would walk in and I'd be doing something ridiculous like this at home, they wouldn't even be shocked. Like completely dressed up like this. <laughs> Oh my god, it's beautiful. Okay, so we've got two different attachments for the bottom, both of which have different purposes. And then the kind of add-on attachments, these ones here just for, you know, fitting different areas. And then we have the wall bracket, which is great. That will be going up on my wall. I should probably be reading the instructions, but I feel like it's pretty straightforward. Okay, we'll go for this bottom. Just just to demonstrate. Awesome. And we're on. Oh my gosh, that was so easy. That literally took me two minutes. Okay, so we've got all the uh, stickers to take off. It's probably gonna need a charge, but so that's probably the quickest 
setup I've ever had with any any like home appliance. Ready? Oh my goodness, it's so easy. It's so light, I can literally hold it in one hand. That's so easy, oh my goodness. Okay guys, I'm gonna put that on charge and I think my car is here, so it's time to head off to my event. So I actually went into the Dyson showroom not too long ago, and they kind of showed me how everything works. This is great because it's got up, so it's obviously it's cordless, and it's got up to an hour's like charge in it, so you can you can do the whole house in an hour, easy. Uh, my mum has one of these, and like I borrowed it at times. Just that sounds really sad, doesn't it? Borrowing my mum's vacuum, but it's great. It's really good for if you have like flies or spiders on the ceiling because they're really light you can just kind of like get them it's really good because they're really light so you just take like the end bit off which is at the minute got one of the things for like flooring on and then you just hold this up like this there you go can you see and you can just get the flies and the spiders yeah it's really great there's a few different ones of which they're like different specs different kind of you have slightly different ones which are for like slightly different homes or like situations if you like there's certain heads that specialize in like hair dog hair things like that which is cool uh, but there's like a two-year guarantee with them which comes free so yeah I'm gonna get using it and then I will update you on like what I think I mean I know a ton of you will find this interesting which is why I'm doing this because it I find stuff like this super interesting. So, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm so glad that I finally got the chance to unbox it. And I'm so excited to vacuum my place. And I'm home. I was all packed, ready to go back to Northamptonshire because I had a film tomorrow. However, I left my keys in my mother's car, so I can't actually, like, I can get home from the station, I can call a cab, but I can't get into my house, which is so annoying. So I'm kind of annoyed, like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty frustrated because the first train that I can get tomorrow is at 5 past 10, which will get me home at, like, 20 past 11, which means half the day is gone. At least, at least, like, I can get some stuff done in the morning, though. Right. Actually, I don't know what time, what time do shops, I feel like shops open, like, later here. I feel like maybe they open at 10. Let me, let me have a Google. I need to go to Hollister, because if you, um, this is so exciting for me. If you see on Instagram, I actually work with Hollister and Giddy Hicks, which is so exciting for me, because, like, Giddy Hicks, one of my favourite brands ever, as, as Hollister. Uh, yeah, 10 a.m., why do they open so late? I don't have till 10 a.m. Oh, they're open till late at night, that's why. I don't have time for that, okay. Great. <laughs> but I thought I'd show you what I got from the Soap and Glory event. This is the goodie bag, which I think is so cute. Beth from Soap and Glory is the loveliest person in the world. Like, you know when you just meet someone and you're just like, I really like you, you're so lovely, you love what you do, you're so passionate, and I just, I feel that. You're just so nice. So, and she has a beautiful Instagram as well. So this is the goodie bag. I see the vision, I love it. So they have basically released a new fragrance, which is a first for Soap and Glory in like four years. So it is like all in this matte packaging, which I love, like talk about kind of, I don't know, just it's nice, like it's just lovely. It's like a little bit more kind of luxurious. So the scent is Call of Fruity. I know, how cool. So it's described as like fruity and exotic. Let's see if it has it, here we go. Uh, so this is the body lotion, and it says a refreshing hydrating blend with mango and coconut oils, papaya, passion fruit, and algae extracts for smooth satisfaction. And it smells so good. Like it smells super grown up, if that's, if you know what I mean. It's like, I feel like a lot of people think Soap and Glory are quite, like their fragrances are quite sweet and quite like, a bit younger, but this is like so grown up. It's one of them ones that it smells moisturising. I know that sounds so silly. If you, but do you know what I mean when something just smells moisturising? I like this a lot. Like I walked in, the whole thing was like Havana themed, which I just love. So yeah, I got. Sorry, I was <laughs> supposed to show you what was in here. I got the body lotion, the bubble bath. This is getting used straight away. This is getting put in, This is getting put straight in my bar. Uh, then the hand food, which is one of like their most popular products along with this body oil which I really like the look of this looks really cool it's got vitamin E in it as well so it's super moisturizing and then the moisturizer just their body butter this is such a staple for soap and glory so here we go it says here it's a scent from paradise drift across with notes of exotic hibiscus juicy cantaloupe melon and cedarwood maybe it's a cedarwood I like I like anything slightly like woody and musky but this isn't it's not like musky it's like fruity but not sweet 
maybe it's fruity and musky. Maybe, maybe that's what I'm trying to uh, explain. It says a lovely bunch of body loving uh, actives with coconut oil, coconut butter, and coconut shell. I didn't know you could put coconut shell in something, but they have their body lotion, body butter, body wash, hand cream, body scrub. Oh, I don't have the scrub. And the moisturizing body oil. So, yeah, Call of Fruity is coming to boots very, very soon. But how cute is this bag? I love it. But it was a lovely night. I was with Soph from Soph Does Nails and Jake Jamie. Like, I feel like you guys. You'll know them, they're so lovely. And it was just a really nice night to sit, have a chat, explore the products, see what Soap and Glory had on. And now I'm very ready to shove my hair up and get my makeup off, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually kind of gutted that I'm not able to go home. It's like ruined my plans. So, gonna have to figure it out, but it's fine. Happy Wednesday, I'm up, I'm off home. I'm excited to go and film. And then I've got a video to upload tonight, which I'm excited about. It's my one about rumors, ooh. And yeah, let's make a move or I'm gonna miss the train. I made it. I'm so happy to be home. I have got so much done already this morning. And well, it's not morning anymore. It's like two o'clock, but I'm about to unpack all my posts, which I picked up from the office and just sort out my glam room. I've done like the majority of my editing that I need to do today. Well, I am gonna film hopefully later, but I have a ton of makeup to sort out first. So we're gonna go through that. My makeup organising is taking a lot longer than expected. Although I've just emptied this Dior backstage thing and popped it all in my Dior drawer, which has moved now to one of these drawers. Obviously I'm not going to keep all the foundations, goes without saying, but it just needed to put it away so I can get it kind of out of the way and then deal with it. But yeah, it's stunning. I've kept my the shade I think I'm going to be out to give this a go. Although it looks completely different to like my skin tone. Uh, there we go. Can, can you see? Yeah. Hopefully that'll be right. So I've already eaten it, but I thought I'd show you what I have for dinner. I made a casserole and I just had it with mashed potato, but it's, yeah, <laughs> I've eaten. So this is going to be my dinner for tomorrow. Oh, no, I'm not here tomorrow. Maybe I'll have this for lunch before I head back into London because I have work things tomorrow. I'm just about to head to my mum's house. I've just seen my phone light up loads, so I'm assuming this is Sophie texting me saying, where are you? Uh, because they had a riding lesson today, and Sophie wants to update me on how the riding lesson went and tell me all about it. So, of course, we are going to find out all about that uh, and then need to pack tomorrow uh, for london tomorrow i'm going back into london because i have a uh i have a thing in the afternoon then i am spending the night with laura mercier we have an event and then i'm staying over and then it's thursday no oh my gosh tomorrow's thursday and then it's friday <laughs> okay oh my gosh i need a dress it is Half past 12, I've just got out of the shower, I've put a hair mask on, I've just put my overnight elixir on so I get a nice glow on my face in the morning. I've just like moisturised everywhere, like I'm glowing. <laughs> Moisturising with oil is like my favourite thing, it's like so much easier than using like a body cream. So that's like my go-to at the moment. But yeah, I'm going to head off to sleep, heading off to London in the morning, so yeah, good night. Good morning, happy Thursday, I'm up, it's about 8 and I need to wash my brushes, that is the plan for this morning. So I am off this weekend, I'm going on a trip, so I need to take brushes with me. However, I've got some new travel brushes, so I want to clean them ready to take. They're like, where are they? These ones here, they're Zoeva ones. They're so cute, and then I've got some mini, uh, what are, the ones? are these mini Zoeva ones? Oh no, they're normal ones, but there are mini ones, I promise, they're in there somewhere. <laughs> So yeah, I want to wash all of these brushes and then I can start packing my makeup up. I'm also just washing up a brand new It Cosmetics number no. 7 brush. These are my favourite brushes for foundation. It's got a concealer brush on the end, perfect for travel. I have three. This is the third. All in use and they're just phenomenal. They fit perfectly for like doing kind of bronzer if that makes sense if you're doing cream bronzer but as well for all over foundation and then concealer they're just great so i'm all hot and sticky because i just got off the gym just got back from Harrods. i got my dress i'm very excited about it i'm very ready to uh try it on but not right now because i have a meeting to go to so i'm gonna do my makeup put a bit of mascara on just some like moisturizer my skin's been pretty nice right now so i don't really need to do much to it and then do my hair and then yeah i'm gonna head to my meeting so here's the hair and makeup. I've literally just put some like waves through my hair. As you can see, I just kind of, yeah, hopefully they're kind of, they look a bit like uniform right now. They, they will chill out and look a bit more natural. And then I've literally just put mascara on. So as you can see, just a waterproof one. I've brushed my brows, put some moisturizer on and that is it. And I'm just wearing a black dress, boots and a jacket. And yeah, 
time to go. My bag is packed. I'm actually going straight from this meeting to a hotel. I'm staying with Laura Mercier for the night for an event. It's like a dinner and then there's a thing in the morning. So yes, I'm very ready for that. I've just kind of popped everything in my key ball. It's kind of heavy because it's got my laptop and everything in because can Emily go anywhere without her laptop even for a night? No, she cannot. So I just checked into the principal hotel in London. It's like right near Russell Square. So I thought I'd give you a little room tour. So like I said, I'm here with Laura Mercier and this is my room. So you walk in and there's some macarons and some little teas and stuff on the table. Then this is the bed. This is like lovely. And then look how cute the phone is. And then this is the bathroom, which I love that it's marble. Bear in mind, this is like a city hotel. So the rooms are small, but they're like stunning. So yeah, this is, just reminds me of the Ace Hotel in um, the one. I don't think the ones in London look like this, but the one in um, New York does. So there are these Laura Mercier scrubs. What's this? A body cream, a scrub and a milk honey bath product with this this is so cute we have a hand cream and then we have some of their makeup products and base products all things like this very excited about this and to kind of learn about their products tonight so the hashtag tonight is set up and glow love that i know what's about to happen my phone's about to ring i just <laughs> wait Hello. And somehow I ended up having just 20 minutes to get ready because three different people decided to call me for a chat. But this is the look of the night. I'm kind of trying to like, wow, this is really dark, I'm sorry. Make the most of like the rest of summer, but incorporate it into like something a bit more autumnal. So we have the boots. They are my Louis Vuitton boots. I just took the kind of bits out. And then this dress is from Shein. You'll see it in a video very, very soon. It was literally like 12 pounds. And then I've just got my Zara leather jacket on. I am freezing right now. So I'm hoping it's warmer outside than it is in this hotel room. But yeah, this is the look. Oh, and I'll show you the makeup. So of course it's just super glowy, bronzy, you know me. And I used a ton of the Laura Mercier products. I use like these eyeshadow sticks. I've got the gloss on. Uh, I use a highlighter. I love it. Really, really love how this has turned out. Just, just glowy. Just love the glow. But I am gonna leave you here so I'll catch up with you when I get back from the dinner. So I'm back. I thought I would show you what they've left in my room because I'm back and there's stuff on the bed. So um, this was the goodie bag that we got. But pretty much on the bed there is a glow in a beauty powder. So it's a naturally bioactive food supplement. That's cool. There's a slip. Oh, pure silk pillowcase. These are amazing. I have one of these. Oh, it's got my I love that. Thank you so much. Wait, this is very exciting. Oh my goodness, they've got the normal one in there as well. I ran out. So pretty much they've released a new powder, which is their translucent powder, but it's got like, like pearl particles in it. So it's like highlighting, which perfect. Love that. So I'm very excited about this. So they've given me that with the brush and the powder puff and it's all in this stunning box and I'm very excited about it. So I'm going to open it. Is this the glow one? Yeah. So we tried it on obviously at the event. So can you see that? It's just like got that slight glow to it, which is gonna look stunning on the skin. This is how my makeup's lasted and my hair. Oh, my hair always goes so puffy. If you know how to fix that, please, please help me. I'm going to take my makeup off now, do a bit of a skincare routine, put a face mask on. So what time is it? Yeah. Let's get going. So I'm just chilling on the bed doing some editing. I've got my Garnier Fresh Mix mask on. This Misery Plumping Shot one. Uh, it's got hyaluronic acid in. Yeah, I, I really like this one. This one's like plumping and like smoothing. The other one's more like... Well, they're both refreshing actually. I mean, they both have different purposes. The other one, I'm pretty sure has like vitamin C in it, which is cool. But I like this one too. So I'm just doing a face mask. I have to go out of the shower. I am all like... I just... You know, when you just feel your best, I'm like fresh fresh everything i'm like moisturized i am doing a face mask i have no makeup on my face it's just a good time so yeah i'm <laughs> roxy and nicole are texting me and i am going to carry on doing some editing i'm just waiting for my vlog to finish up uploading so i can head off i've got my black outfit on from yesterday because i didn't bring a change of outfit because i knew i was going straight back to the flat to go and get changed for the day so i was like oh, i'll just wear the same things so i only wore it for like half the day so i have lunch today with anastasia from anastasia beverly hills which is crazy she is the founder base ceo everything of anastasia beverly hills 
so yeah i am excited to go and like just learn about her and hear what she has to say so i'm gonna go back to the flat get changed get ready for the day i have got so much done this morning i've got like so much edited uploaded i'm very happy like it's been like an admin morning got the lunch and then yeah i've got got some stuff to do this afternoon what a day i got back from the hotel and i was in so much pain i like haven't had period pains that bad in so long i used to really struggle with it and i know a lot of you really want me to share my contraceptive story because it's been a long one. I've been on about 10 different contraceptive pills. I've done the injection and all things like that. And I finally found a method that works for me. But this month, yeah, I hadn't had a period in like three months. So it's just, just it's not good. <laughs> so I was bed bound. I was literally laying curled up like a fetus all day. And I couldn't go, which I'm so sad about. Like really, I'm like really bummed. So yeah, but I... I I got some work done in the end when I could kind of move and then when, when the pain relief kicked in I went and got a uh, latte from Starbucks, got a chai latte which was phenomenal. But yeah, I'm just, just chilling now. My video is all edited, ready for the weekend. I am heading away this weekend. I'm not going to be vlogging because it's like some time off which I'm very excited about. So yeah, I'm sure I'll, I'll post some like stories and maybe Instagram. Maybe you'll see the dress in action. I really hope you do. If not, I'll uh, shoot it another time so you can see it. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this week's vlog and I will see you on Monday.